Hi guys, it's Faith. I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. I'm in my bedroom right now, as you can see. <laughs> I'm in the process of actually painting that dresser back there. We're getting ready to move and stuff is packed and just crazy and a mess and there's nowhere for me to film. So this is just gonna have to work for today. I wanted to talk to you guys because I am so, so, so excited. I got some really exciting news to share with you and that is I am officially going to be homeschooling our son for kindergarten. I am so excited. This is an answer to prayer. Um, my husband was not convinced, <laughs> so we weren't sure if it was something that um, we were gonna do or not. But he has come around and he has agreed to let me homeschool him for kindergarten. And I am super excited to do this. It has been my heart's desire now for probably a couple of years. I knew that I wanted to homeschool him when the time came. And he has been going for the last two years to a Christian preschool, which I love. It's fantastic. I'm a board member there and I love them. They're great. But it's been just growing in my heart to homeschool him. Anybody who knows me knows that I was homeschooled from kindergarten through 12th grade and I hated it. I, every year I used to cry and beg to go to school and the answer was always no. Um, so I said I would never homeschool my kids because I didn't have a positive experience. However, um, over time, I wanted to homeschool. And I think it started really when I started listening to Sally Clarkson. She has a podcast. I've read a ton of her books. She's fantastic. If you don't follow her, you absolutely should because she's amazing. She is. Um, she has a Christian ministry that is focused around women and moms. And it's just fantastic. It's not necessarily a homeschool podcast, but she did homeschool her kids who are all grown now and all successful and they have a very close relationship with their mom. And um, Kat's coming to say hi. Say hi, Kat. That's Boo Boo. Yeah, he's cool. But um, anyway, <laughs> so she, I, as I listened to her podcast more and more and listened to just stories of her life and her experiences and read tidbits of it in her books, I realized that the homeschool experience that she gave her kids was completely different from my experience. Now this is not to throw off on my mom. She did the best that she could. Things were just totally different then as opposed to what they are now. My dad's philosophy was more trying to keep me from the world and protect me from being faced with a choice instead of teaching me how to make good choices. So when I got a little bit of freedom, I went completely crazy when I was a teenager and got my first job and got a car and I made a lot of really bad choices because I just had been in a bubble my whole life. Now that is not my intention with my kids. My reasoning for homeschooling them is not to keep them in a bubble. It's not to protect them from the world or life or culture. My main reason is because I believe that learning should be fun. I think if you make it a daunting task, you're teaching them to hate school and to hate learning and to hate reading. And for the longest time, I thought that I hated reading because that's all I ever had to do for school was read book after book after book and it was so boring and it was all textbooks and it was dry and I hated it. I did not read a book because of my own will until... I was probably in my 20s. So my plan is to create a really fun learning environment that just engages them more and where they can explore what they're interested in and really kind of foster the natural creativity that God has put in them. Um, like my son the other day asked me, how do peanuts turn into peanut butter? And I was like, you know what? We're gonna find out, buddy. We're gonna do that. We will take peanuts and make peanut butter and figure out how that happens. And just kind of fostering their own questions and their own curiosity and really embracing that. My son really loves Legos. He likes to build, so we will build off of that and learn from those things that he likes. I feel like kids have an opportunity to learn so many things in homeschool that they don't get to learn in public school. Um, just simple things like we have, will have the freedom to go on trips and field trips, multiple field trips, whereas in school you might get a couple and then a lot of the standard ones, like you go to the apple orchard, um, you know, you go, to, and those things are fine, and we will still do those things, but, you know, we get to take a day, maybe go camping, and go explore a cave, and, you know, those kind of field trips that he's not going to get to do 
we are gonna be able to do. We can take educational trips and educational vacations whenever we want to because we have that freedom. We're not working around anybody else's schedule. I'm just super, super excited. I've been watching, you know, YouTube people here that have, like, they homeschool their kids and all their fabulous ideas for the last couple of years now. And I'm so, so excited and so thankful. And I know a lot of you have known that I've wanted to do this, but we weren't sure if we were going to or not. So I just wanted to share with you because I'm so excited and uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. So if you know of any YouTubers that have like awesome channels, homeschool channels that I need to subscribe to, leave it in the comments below so that I can subscribe because I totally wanna to see what they're doing. Moving forward, homeschool is gonna become a really big part of my channel because one, it's gonna be a really big part of my life. And two, I wanna be able to document what's going on and kinda of learn from what didn't work and you know celebrate the successes and just be able to look back and have it for my own record. So it is gonna be a big part of my channel moving forward. And like I said, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you my new homeschool room and everything when I get that all set up. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to celebrate the good news with you and tell you what's up. So I look forward to seeing you in future videos.